Hey guys, Smiley's here, bringing you a Let's Play of The Walking Dead. Yes, this game is amazing. Something uh, I'll probably be uploading alongside Pokemon. I'll probably make this um, a consistent thing where I upload a, a, like a Let's Play or something else other than Pokemon just to kind of vary the content on my channel a little bit. Maybe attract some more people. But yeah, this game's great. It was made by uh, Telltale Ta Telltale Tales, Telltale Games, <laughs> and it was based off of a comic book and then a TV show. So, yeah, story's great. You know, it's a survival game, essentially. And yeah, well, I've already configured the settings and everything, so sound shouldn't be too loud and. Subtitles are on, so... Oh yeah, and I've already played through the first episode, but, um... Just to kind of get a feel for it, but... I'll probably do the rest of the episodes blind, I think. But this was just to get the hang of the controls and everything. So... Let's just start on with the game here. Yes, this game is all about choices. The choices you make will affect the later episodes and how people like you or not like you. I'll try to be quiet during cutscenes. Episode 1, A New Day. Oh man, got busted. Wonder what he did. Well, I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. Really? Well, that's just uh, let me out here. We'll be we'll be fine. Uh, let's see. These options really... These first options really don't matter. Why do you say that? Just to... I think it's just now to I'm get the hang of picking an option before the time oh, runs out. Man. Which is kind of annoying. I don't I like how they give you limited time way. to pick. Because, I mean, sometimes I want to think about it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. Hey, man. Main character's name is Lee, by the way. I don't remember how far into the first episode it takes for him to actually introduce himself. Okay. I think they, yeah, they just want us to look at the rearview mirror. your case a little bit. You being a making boy. Essentially, you just click on things and to interact with them or whatever. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell. Whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure. Okay, so his family owns a drugstore. That's really important in this episode. So, if your dialogue triggers I got a nephew up at something you teach there long? Uh, like that changes the relationship, it'll say in the upper left hand corner unless you have that option turned off. But I don't. You want to know how I see it? Uh, I mean, sure. Sure. I thought this option was weird. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, fuck you, man. 
No one, no one, no one, go, no one talk about my wife like that. If I want in handcuffs, I'll beat the shit out of you. Oh, some shit's going down back there, apparently. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention, and you'll I mean, drive yourself crazy. You can't exactly bring a prisoner to a crime scene. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going. Well, I don't want to hear about your stupid he stories. Work. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses, and he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him, crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Great. Stories so interesting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting Great. Her up as the boy. I don't understand the, the point of the story. In car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I, think he actually I guess it's to himself. show how Lee is more co cooperative than most of the prisoners he over. brings. Or just well, I got some another of them. good one for you. Look out! Yeah, somebody in the road! No! No! So. In the road! In the road. Oh! Damn, what's that thing? Sure, I'm sure you know what that, what that is, given this game, but... Damn, man. Right through the guard railing. Oh, dear. Is that the... I wonder if that's the police officer, just... Oh, jeez. Come on, Lee. Got, gotta get up. Don't die out here. Oh man, his leg's pretty busted up there. Still got the handcuffs on. Ah, fuck my leg. So this is just to kind of be used to looking around and clicking on things. I'll try to show a lot a lot of stuff. Um, most everything. But if I miss stuff, I mean, I can't really help that. Look around. Him. Hey, hey officer! Are you alright? I'm still cut back here! I don't think he's alright, Lee. I think he's, I think he's pretty officer? dead. Oh, that doesn't look good. Man, his car. Jesus. From the car. Aha! Uh -huh. Gotta kick out this window. You know, I really don't understand why they make us kick it four times. I mean, we get it. He's kicking the window out. Oh yeah? Well, I used the D key to move to the right. What are you gonna do about it, Telltale Games? I didn't do what you said. Jeez. Oh, man. I do think it's kind of funny how they, like, had this free car accident and they landed literally right under where they fell off. That doesn't, that doesn't seem right. Just gotta move around the car. Just basically, just basically do everything they tell you here. This isn't too hard of a scene. Just kind of an introductory scene here. Getting you used to what's going on. There's a shotgun shell here. Despite being handcuffed, you can still pick it up for now, although it doesn't really matter, I don't think. The officer's shotgun is over there. Good job, Lee. Very astute of you. Yes, the shotgun is there. Yay, the keys! Free! Or freedom! Gotta just unlock these handcuffs. Ah, oh, goddammit, Lee. You have to drop the keys. 
really no point to him dropping the keys, except a little minor horror-esque thing that doesn't even, it's not even scary or anything. He's dead. Yes, he's dead. Although, I think you could probably figure out what's actually going to happen to him. I got these handcuffs off. Uh-oh. Oh my god, he's alive! Oh, he's a zombie! What in the hell? Get away from me! Come on. I don't know why it wasn't triggering that scene earlier, but... Uh, hurry, gotta pick up... Pick up the shotgun! Come on, Lee. Load the shotgun, load the shotgun. Oh, god damn it, Lee. Really? Just stop. Back up. Come on, Lee. God damn it. Can't be dropping shotgun shells. Yep, we're gonna have to do it, Lee. Gotta shoot him. Oh, man. That's just nasty. Man is right. It's a zombie Lee. It's zombie apocalypse. Hey! Are you dead? Uh no, I think he's alive, Lee. I think he's uh he's just sleeping. Hey, who wonder who that is over there? Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! <laughs> there's been a shooting. I don't I guess that's really the only thing he could have said, but Uh, I think about it, it's probably not very smart to just yell at her because <laughs> with what just happened, could be one of those guys. Oh, damn it, Lee, come on. Gotta book it, Lee, gotta book it, book it, book it. No, Lee, go, 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 go. Run as, as fast as your crippled self can carry you. Or trip again. That that works too. Yes, Lee. The fence. The fence. Come on, Lee, you can make it. You can make it. Yay, you survived. Better hope they can't climb. Luckily, it looks like they cannot climb. Huh. Shots. Yeah, zombies. So you know what? We're more interested in the gunshots. Gotta go get some yummy nom noms over there. Well, it looks like we're sort of safe for now. Hello? Anybody? Extremely slow subtitles for no reason. I can get a look around here. Tea set. Let's uh, examine it. Come on, Lee, examine the tea set. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. That's just messed up, Lee. Come on now. No time for alcohol. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. No. Help! Would be nice, though. I mean, zombies can't get up there. Anybody up there? Well, I guess if there's someone up there, they would answer. Damn, I guess Lee could go for some bourbon right now. Let's go uh, check the house, see if there's any drinks. Or help people. That, that That's good, too. I mean... I don't know. Alcohol might be more important. I mean, he's got a busted leg, but... Hello? Anybody home? Oh, anytime's a good time for alcohol. Right? Right. You guys hear what I'm saying? Actually, no. I've never had a drink in my life. Okay... Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Oh, I'm sure they'll 
I'm sure they listen to you, Lee. Ah, Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. I'm not an intruder, I'm just walking into your house, even though that's the exact definition of an intruder. Got a coloring book over here. Oh, it's a unicorn. Just like the one in my backyard. What? Okay, got a bowl of fruit. Let's go have a banana. It's fate. Damn. God damn it. Look. Oh man, it's a lot of blood. Jesus. I don't think he can help you now, Lee. Really? It's, it's literally right in front of it. You examined it. Remarked at how much blood was there. And then you decide you're just going to walk into it and slip and fall. I guess he didn't know it was wet. I don't even know. Still doesn't make sense. Let's see what's in this drawer. Ooh. A walkie talkie. That's the best creative name for a communication device ever. Walkie talkie. Like, must have taken a whole 30 seconds to come up with that name. Let's see. For phones, what we need to do is uh, take a look around some more. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Again, Lee, uh, Jesus is not, he's not going to help you now. God. Kid lived here. I have I have one of those uh handprint things. This whole there are neighborhood three is deserted. What the hell? There are three new messages. We understand answering machine, just shut up. Ugh, cables out. Damn it. Wanted to watch some friends. Well, I better hobble over to the Alright, alright, phone. Calm yourself. Yes, maybe there's something there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're... Hey, Diana, Savannah. how's it going? Uh, <laughs> this Sandra, Diana, Savannah. To get him back to the ER Rhyme and every time. Out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after oh, that's Clementine, unfortunate. and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. I wonder where Sandra is. Message two, left at 11:19 p.m. Oh my God! Finally, I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not uh -oh. letting us leave and aren't telling us anything. Things about are escalating quickly. Please, please, just leave the city take and take Clementine with you back to Marietta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Oh man, she sounds like she's in some stress. I don't know why I had some like random southern accent. Oh man. If you can hear this, call the police. That's nine one one. We love you. We love you. Oh man. That is sad. I wonder who this Clementine is. Oh, it must be the kid. 